What's going on YouTube? Jai from JaiTheMarketer.com here. Back again with another video and in this video guys I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook pixel on our 30 day challenge funnel that we've been creating for the last 12, 13 days. Today is the 13th day. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, I am doing a follow along where I am following along Trey Llewellyn's 30, uh, 30 day business plan um, from the 30 day challenge. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, click that link below so you can start from day one. But basically Russell Brunson who is the owner of ClickFunnels, he asked 30 um, entrepreneurs and 30 people who are, are influential what would you do if you lost your uh, account um, like your money your, your your reputation what would you do if you only had a click funnels account um, so Trey Llewellyn had designed this amazing plan so I've been following along so like I said click the link below um, to start from day one and then you can get all the way up to day 13 where we are today I'm really excited because actually um, today my book came in the mail. So this is the actual book that uh, you get when you order the 30 day challenge. Unfortunately, this has been closed down. I don't know if they're going to reopen it. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the hard copy. So all the 30 day challenges are actually in hard copy form. So I'm definitely going to be reading this, going over everything and seeing some other cool ideas that we can uh, get from this book. But it's really awesome that it came in the mail. I'm super stoked for that. Uh, before we talk about the Facebook pick, so let's actually uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. So subscribe if you are not subscribed because I'm awesome. No, but uh, on a more serious note, I post videos daily about marketing, about dropshipping, about affiliate marketing, different things in that nature. So if you're interested in that stuff, definitely subscribe. And if you um, can do me a favor, can you hit that alert button because that really helps and you get alerted when I post a video. So you never miss uh, a video for me which is awesome right um, no um, but let's get right into it okay so what I want to talk about is setting up a Facebook pixel on the funnel itself um, and the reason why I want to do this is because we want to make sure that we have the data it's all about collecting data the more data you have on the people that are coming to your funnel the more that you can um, segment them and then also sell to them as well so we want to make sure that we're um, segmenting these people into our Facebook pixel okay so um, in the previous video, I actually went over how to do that in Google Analytics, how you can separate people based on um, the different pages they visit, um, time frames, etc. So um, go watch that video if you want to learn more about that. But in this video, we're going to be talking about Facebook, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go to business.facebook.com and you want to set up a Facebook for Business account. It's free. You don't have to pay for anything. Just set it up. Um, and then once you do that, you're going to be able to add an ad account. So you can see here I have different ad accounts here. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to set up a fake one. We're never going to use this one, but I already have one set up. You can see here, Gaming Junkies. Um, but let's just go to Business Settings, um, and you're going to take the same steps when you're trying to set up your Facebook Pixel. It's very, very simple. Um, and then tomorrow's video, I'll actually break this down into two videos, only because um, custom audiences is a little more advanced, so I kind of want to give you guys the idea of setting up the Pixel itself, and then we can talk about uh, custom audiences in a separate video tomorrow. All right, so let's actually go into our business settings where we are. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to ad accounts. So on the left-hand side where it says underneath pages, uh, you wanna make sure that you have, um, you wanna make sure that you have this uh, drop down, and then you'll be able to see the ad accounts. Now what we wanna do is you wanna click add. So we're gonna click add account, if you have one already. Um, but we're gonna create a new one, okay? So add account name, we're gonna name it uh, YouTube videos okay um, and then this is advertising on the behalf of per your marketing create ad account oh I already hit the limit um, so let's actually get rid of one of these what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the one that I created so we're gonna go here let's just pretend that we created this one okay this is what it looks like um, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that once you uh, create it, like once you click add and you, you give it a name, it's gonna show up here. Um, and then what you can do is you're gonna be able to grab the pixel. So uh, typically once you create the account, it's gonna actually grab the uh, pixel for you. Uh, or the pixel is gonna say, you know, you have to put this on, on the page. But if, if you don't see that, all you have to do is hit this little drop down here. Now, so once, so once we're at Pixels, you want to click on the name of the Pixel itself, so Gaming Junkies Pixel. So you can see here that I already have 13 events for the last 7 days because I already have it integrated. Um, but we can just go to it and then click on Setup. Um, and if you don't have your Pixel set up already, you're not going to see this, but it's going to show you, um, you know, the option to set up. So you're going to see something like this, that set, set up your Pixel. 
Um, and then what you want to do is click on manually install the code yourself, okay? And then we're going to go to the step two and we're just going to copy this. All right, that's all you have to do. That's really all you have to do. You can um, test automatic advanced matching, but if you're just starting out, I would just keep it simple. Just copy over the code. And then what you want to do is go to your funnel. So this is our Gaming Junkies contest funnel. And you want to go to settings, okay? And this is going to be the funnel wide settings, okay? The same thing we put over the Google Analytics tag. We actually put the pixel here um, as well. So you can see my pixels already here. But we're just going to erase it and we're going to repaste it. Okay. Very simple. It's going to go right in the head tracking code. Therefore, it's going to track. We don't have to paste this code on every single funnel step. This code is going to appear once we uh, apply it here on every single funnel step and we don't have to do that. Um, so once we've done that, we just click save and update settings. Um, and then you should be good to go. Okay. Now, one thing you do want to test and to make sure that it's um, on is you want to send test traffic to the to the pixel okay so once you save and update settings send test traffic so pay, uh, basically facebook is going to send test traffic to your funnel and then another thing that you're going to, going to want to do is add this um similar to the google tag assistant there's a facebook pixel helper so this will allow us to know if this pixel is set up correctly um, and then if we click on it you can see that um it is okay so you definitely want to uh, download this okay now once you have done that um you are going to be able to if you click continue um it's going to give you some additional options like you can track different ev events based on different pages that the person goes to uh, but what i'm going to show you guys is i'm going to show you guys custom um custom audiences and you can uh so that way we can segment segment people based on the actions that they take uh like if they visit certain pages or don't visit a certain page so that is similar to what we did in the previous video, but we're going to do that as well. So we're not going to mess around with this um, today. You could do a few content, um, and I can show you that real quickly. So for example, if you wanted to use any of these, um, so like if you want to do view content, you can just copy this code, right? And then this is where you would go to the individual um, funnel step, click edit page, and then inside of the editor, We're going to go to settings and we're going to go to tracking code. And then we're just going to paste this here. So now this is going to track view content. So basically anyone who comes to this page, Facebook's um, going to uh, notify the pixel that, hey, this person came to this page and viewed the content. And then we're going to add them to a specific list based on um, this parameter here. So yeah, like, like I said, tomorrow we're going to learn about custom audiences and how you can use events to track people based on the pages that they go to and not go to so it's going to be really really cool to see um now that we have our pixel set up what we can do and uh, and we have some test traffic going into it and you know you you are going to your, your funnel as well uh you're going to be tracking yourself and then we can uh set up that custom audience in tomorrow's video um it's a very simple process like i said it can get some uh it can get uh a little lost sometimes and like it could be daunting but overall it's very very simple um and then once you have this in place, you know, you'll be good to go. So you can start tracking people and then retargeting them later for other products that you may have down the line. Uh, but this is all about collecting the data. We're not trying to lose data on the people that visit um, our funnels. We want to make sure that we have their data so that we can remarket to them um, and then sell them products later down the line, affiliate offers down the line. It, it really um, it really can go crazy, right? You can go crazy with retargeting and just keep um, showing products to people. So it's, it's pretty much an endless... Um, amount of information that Facebook and Google can pick, uh, pick up and then you can just use that information to profit from basically so it's really really cool so if you guys like this video like this type of content definitely leave a comment below if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe it really really helps and I really appreciate it and if you do subscribe hit that alert button as well like I said so you know when I post a new video and if you like this video give me a thumbs up it really helps with the video um, ranking and showing other people this content so I really appreciate it thank you guys so much I'll see you guys in the next video